Hi, it's Kristen Burke for RCR News Media, and it's the Creative Arts Emmys. Now, of course, things look a little bit different this year, but we were backstage in the virtual press room to interview some of the winners. Check it out. Welcome, Labyrinth, Outstanding Original Music and Lyrics, Euphoria and Salt the Earth Behind You, song title all for us. Hello. <laughs> Questions for Labyrinth. Question from Stephanie Pichet. Hi there, and congratulations on your Emmy. How exciting. Hello, Stephanie. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. So can you give us a little insight into the process um, that you came up with to create this amazing piece that you won your Emmy for? Um, I had got my family. I've always wanted to record my family because um, they're all musicians and singers. Um, and my granddad is a reverend and um, yeah, they, they're they just the best singers in the world for me anyway. So I wanted to get them on a record. Um, so I decided to um, record them in uh, like a studio in the UK and it just inspired, this song just kept on growing um, and developing into what it is now. And then Sam Levinson had heard it and um, just really loved it. And, and um, we just started uh, developing what I did with my family and it turned into all for us um, and it was just, yeah, one of the best experiences like in terms of creating music for me um, that I've had for, for a while. A question from David Stamper. Hi Labyrinth, congratulations um, from a fellow English person here. Um, <laughs> I'm with the Television Thank Academy. <laughs> <laughs> Two questions. One, where are you coming to us from? Are you here in America or in England at the moment? And secondly, is this, now that you've broken into this area in such a sort of spectacular fashion with an Emmy, do you see yourself doing more in this genre and moving away from like pop singles or what do you see? Well, um, uh, um, yeah, I'm in London, um, so it's one in the morning right now, which is not too bad. I, I, I work late, so I'm, I, this is fine for me. This is like uh, the middle of the day for me. But um, um, yeah, um, uh, I've always wanted to score music and I used to do it when I was a kid, like just for fun. Um, I used to like kind of screen grab like different movies and um, I would I would make my own scores to them. And so um, uh, what's it? Uh, yeah, um, I, I definitely want to do more of this. I've I've done actually like as an artist like I've 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 done quite a lot but just just not in terms of like UK radio like I've streamed quite a lot with my band LSD we've done like a billion streams with the Euphoria album we've done like 200 million streams so it's like I've still got a artist career fully uh, going as well as it needs to go so um yeah why not go down another path and enjoy like composing music you know Thank you, Labyrinth, and congratulations on your Emmy. Thank you so much. Stand by, I'm sorry, stand by one moment. We have one additional. Oh. Or liked by anyone. Apologies, we have one additional question from Julissa Bermudez. Okay. Hi, and congratulations on your win and the trajectory of where your career is going now. So exciting. Um, I'm Julissa on behalf of Central Ave. I just wanted to ask you, Euphoria, I mean, huge show, Gen Z generation. Um, I wanted to ask you, do you think that this generation is prone to oversharing personal details on social media? Um, would you have been allowed to watch a show like Euphoria growing up and what impact that would have had maybe on your upbringing? Um, yeah, I, I, I think there were shows like, uh, not necessarily like Euphoria, but, um, um, that had the same kind of vibe um, that I saw when I was a kid. Um, and my, I, I usually saw those kind of movies through my older brothers because they would be like, okay, we're allowed to watch something a little crazy or little, like while, while mom's gone, we'll watch this crazy movie. And that would be the way of, I would see something like Euphoria when I was younger. But um, uh, I, think, um, I think now, uh, I just think, Every every era evolves and, and it has its own language. And I think this is 
the new language and the new energy of the time. So I, I don't think, I don't necessarily have like a judgment on it, but um, I just feel like this is the natural. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and in the comments below, let us know who your favorite primetime Emmy nominee is.